five tips for getting comfortable in the uncomfortable. As humans, we believe that stress is a bad word. We do whatever we can possibly do to avoid it. However, the truth is, sometimes stress can be beneficial because it gets us out of our comfort zone, which can launch us into success. One of the worst things you can do to your career or even to your life is to remain too long in your comfort zone. Unfortunately, when you don't get uncomfortable, you don't grow. If you don't grow, you get stagnant, which is never a good thing. If you ever want to reach your true potential, you need to experience a bit of stress and discomfort. In this presentation, we'll give you five tips for getting comfortable in the uncomfortable. Remove frustration from your vocabulary. Over the past few years, one of the primary leadership buzzwords has been resiliency which of course has different meanings for different people. However, for most people, this term means to be as strong as possible by being adaptable when things change and removing the word frustration from your vocabulary. The emotion of frustration is a man-made one that can be eliminated once you understand and acknowledge that every problem does have a solution. As a strong, resilient leader, you must learn to break down the problem into the smallest possible components to find the solution. This will help you become stronger and more resilient and eliminate frustration. Focus on short-term resolutions stroke small wins. The next tip for becoming comfortable with the uncomfortable is to leverage small wins and short-term resolutions. This means that you must be taking each day as it comes, focusing only on what is under your control and then find the places where you can have small wins and only need short-term resolutions. The small wins not only build your own confidence, but can also help to build the confidence of your team. Then, as you begin to connect your short-term wins to create long-term wins, your confidence will increase and you'll become more comfortable with the uncomfortable. Follow your intuition. When you're feeling uncertain and uncomfortable, you'll only increase your discomfort if you start to overanalyze and or overthink the situation. One of the best things to do is to trust your own intuition and feel confident that even if you do make a mistake, it'll be easy to fix. Find ways to proactively innovate. When you react to what's going on around you, the chances that you will feel uncomfortable are increased. However, you can take action by evaluating the situation and challenging the situation at hand. When you are the one that is driving the situations in your world instead of reacting to them, you'll be much more comfortable with being uncomfortable. One of the ways that you can do this is to find ways that you can innovate the current situation. Unlearn and relearn new things. One of the main reasons why people are uncomfortable as a leader is that they're stuck in their old ways of thinking. When you can unlearn some of these old thought processes, you'll be a lot more comfortable with being uncomfortable. Conclusion as humans, we often do whatever we can to remain in our comfort zone. We don't want to be uncomfortable. However, if you never get uncomfortable, you will never grow, which means you'll be stuck for a very long time. On the other hand, if you can implement some of these five tips for getting comfortable in the uncomfortable, you'll see growth like you've never seen before. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.